you make music predominantly with loops, then you know just how limited your options can be when working with vocal ad-libs, hooks and full a cappella samples. More times than not, these types of loops are usually covered in some form of reverb baked right into the audio file. So what do you do if you feel the reverb is too strong? What do you do if you don't like the sound or style of that reverb? Maybe you want the vocal to sit a bit more forward in the mix. Maybe you'd like to replace that baked-in reverb with a totally different style of ambient effect altogether. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to reduce reverb effects baked into vocal samples using Clarity VX Reverb and D-Reverb Pro. If you're watching this video on your phone or any other small playback system, then I recommend you go grab some headphones so that you can fully appreciate the subtleties in the examples I'm about to show you. Okay, let's start with an example that most of you Apple, Logic and GarageBand users can try for yourself. And it's using a couple of Clyde Lyric vocal Apple loops. I'm just stuck here in a dream But I don't know if I make it back home So we've got quite a lengthy reverb there, baked right into that sample. Sounds like a haul, and it's roughly two seconds reverb time. Sounds nice, but it might not be what your production needs. If that's the case, then you can use VXD Reverb to soak up all of that excess reverb. Now, both D Reverb plugins come with three neural networks, two for dialogue and one for singing vocals. We're going to use singing. And as this is a stereo audio file, we've got four analysis width options to choose from. Picking the right one makes a huge difference to the quality of the results. On default, you'll get the single stereo option. This uses a combination of the left and right channels and feeds it through one single neural network. But on the other side of the processing, you still get stereo results. Let's take a listen. I'm just stuck here in a dream But I don't know If I make it back home That's a really good start. However, you may want to get this to a point where it feels like you have access to the original vocal recording at the microphone. You might want to apply your own effects to this, like delay or a different reverb altogether. To achieve that, back over on the analysis width, you want to select double mono. This employs two neural networks, one for left, one for right, but the results are presented to you as mono. Let's take a listen. I'm just stuck here in a dream But I don't know If I make it back home Much better. I'm just stuck here in a dream But I don't know if I make it back home. Now, as you can see, you get a really powerful, natural sound from that, and it takes no time at all in D-Reverb. Let's switch over to D-Reverb Pro, which has all of the same features as the smaller plugin, but here you can do so much more. We've got the six processing bands, which let you focus how much processing you want per band. So I've got the low and high bands here, pretty much doing no reverb reduction at all. And we've got a little bit more processing going on at 1K, We've got the same singing neural network selected and double mono. And we've pushed the strength multiplier, basically gives the neural network extra juice. I'm just stuck here in a dream But I don't know if I make it back home I think you get the idea. So let's move on to some other examples. Now, the following vocal loops I found on Splice. So if you want, you can follow along with what I'm about to show you. Now, all of these vocals are heavily processed with strong pitch correction, hype CQ, compression, and of course, some added stereo reverb. Let's do the same thing again, dry the vocals out, but this time make the loops more usable so that we can add our own choice of effects. Love me like I love you. Love me like I love you. And we get a vocal that is super dry, ready for our own effects. And we can use Studioverse to give us some quick and easy vocal mix inspiration. Hit scan. Love me like I love you. Is that a key word? And let's give this chain a try. Faithless house vocals. Love me like I love you. 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 And now we have a vocal that has delay and definition. And more importantly, we have choice. We've got a new reverb here. We could turn that down. We could add some width. Love me like I love you. 
And it sounds really good, but you're probably wondering, why don't we just keep the reverb in that was originally in the vocal loop? Well, let me turn VX off and you can hear how the delay that we've got here start to smear and lose definition. The delay just sounds too washed out. With D-reverb in. That's much better. Our new effects now sound less messy. It's way better starting with a clean slate, just as you would working with a vocal recorded fresh from the mic. That there is the basic concept behind this workflow. Let's now take a listen to a few more examples of this back to back. One more time. One stay here. One more time. One stay here. Nobody else make me feel like ooh. Don't 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 nobody else make me feel like ooh. And there you have it, a quick and easy way to dissolve reverb printed in vocal samples so that you have the creative freedom to add your own choice of effects. For more information on D-Reverb and D-Reverb Pro and to hear more examples of these two amazing problem solver plugins in action, visit waves.com.